This episode is brought to you by Determination. From our studios to your television, it's the stuff Wellesley Media runs on. Determination. this is a first time event. I had this idea a year ago when a neighbor of mine held an art evening for her brother's work from Maine and another artist and I thought I should do that in my house. I have a beautiful house and it's big and I know Wellesley artists and it would be fun to have an evening where we invited people to come and look at our work and you know have some refreshments and sell work. So the pieces I create, necklaces, earrings, bracelets, um, most of them surround around a pearl, which is my specialty, uh, both fresh water and salt water. And so I mix them with various natural stones or gemstones to create my designs. I like them to sort of be natural and organic. And then I also have a line that I produce to raise money for charities that um, myself and my family like to donate to. So we have uh, a series of bracelets and necklaces that raise money for several different organizations that are consisting mostly of pearls and then of silver. We raise money for Massachusetts Oyster Project, which is an organization here in Massachusetts that I belong to and we put oysters back into the harbor and the streams as a method to clean the water. We also donate to Surfrider Organization, which protects the beaches all over the world, and to Oceana.org, which helps to change laws, uh, for example, offshore oil drilling off California, um, and to Dana-Farber. These are saltwater pearls that they refer to as keshi because they're actually a byproduct of the culturing process where a little piece of tissue breaks off in the oyster and starts covering itself with the substance of the pearl, the pearl which is called nacre, that the oyster gives off. So they kind of look like cornflakes. Um, they're very unusual and they're very unique and they come in white and they come in pink. So I like those a lot. And then this one is a Tahitian pearl on the bottom, the black, which I think are pretty cool. They're very different. My work is made of porcelain. It's all thrown on the wheel and everything goes in the dishwasher and I want people to be able to use and enjoy my work with food or just on the uh, coffee table or um, counter to be enjoyed as sculpture. Like this piece I made right here, it's um, a set of nesting bowls, it's a signature piece and each piece could be used for food or serving but it also nests somewhat like a flower or a family so that um, it has a sculptural feel as well. And it's all grown from porcelain which is a very finicky material to work with but once fired is very durable and hard. I really love the pieces I've been doing more recently of stones in water such as this one where I focus on the way light distorts and changes the colors and the reflections, whether they're above or below the water, and how the meniscus line is created. And I can take a lot of liberties with them and do invention. And then I also have been having a lot of fun with a couple of bird drawings I've been doing with birds and snow. 